Hey y'all, welcome back my peaches. I'm here today with a lace frontal install. I have been super duper busy, so sorry for my absence, but I'm back. Hope you enjoy. Subscribe. Okay, so I already have my cap on, um, and now I'm just going to take my alcohol swabs or pads or whatever and clean um, my forehead. I normally use 91% alcohol, but we in a drought, like there's no freaking alcohol nowhere, so this is what I had to use. Um, this is the wig, um, Cosini hair. I did a review on, um, this wig and I will put that above for you to click the link to check that out if you are interested in buying this wig, but I did go in and do some extra plucking and also bleach the knots and I added an elastic band. So now I'm taking the wig and putting it on my head, adjusting it, I'm getting a little feel for it, pulling the lace down to get it ready. And so now, since I have it where I want it, I'm just going to take my brown um, pencil and just uh, mark where I want it to stop. So now that I got that straight and whoop de whoop, it's time to glue. And of course, we're using Ghost Bond Lace Glue. Um, I feel like it's very durable and it lasts a while. So um, we're going to do three total layers of glue. Um, normally when I go in and glue, I'll do one side at a time and smooth it out because the Ghost Bond um, kind of dries a little fast. You know, if you leave it too long, it'll start getting tacky and then it's hard to um, to spread that out. But you just want to smooth that um, onto your um, the cap and a little on your scalp so it will attach. Um, and you're going to do this three times on both sides. So. While I glue these layers down, I can talk to y'all a little bit about why I've been so busy. So this past month, I've been doing a lot of stuff. Like my sister turned 16, so she had a small quarantine gathering at the house and I made her a custom dress um, and we cooked out and we had a good time. Um, I'll definitely insert that clip of her dress so um, so you guys can see it. It was so pretty. I was so proud of myself, but it took me a while. <laughs> so, um, but anyway, I've also have a shirt called the Bandini that's for sale. Um, and I've actually had quite a few orders and I've had to work on those. Um, but hey, if you are interested in purchasing the bandini hit me up shoot me a message or whatever and i'll get that thing right to you sis the shipping is included um and i've also have um trays ashtrays and jars for sale um i finally got a chance to get my hands on some resin and now I'm freaking hooked. <laughs> like, I just love working with it. I love the outcome or whatever. So hit me up, girl, because I will hook you up. You know, I'm a jack of all trades. I do a lot of things. So anyway, back to the video. Um, we are now on our last layer. And now we are ready to press down since our glue has turned clear we are going to just press this thing down i'm taking a um, rat tail comb and just pressing that in to make sure that the lace and the glue connect you know what i'm saying because this thing got to look melted you feel me and i'm doing the same thing on the other side i'm just pulling that 
pressing down and I'm just combing back with my rat tail comb just to make sure that it's pressed down and secure. So now that that thing is pressed down, we're going to cut the lace. Um, I do like cutting it with the razor thing because it makes the little jagged edges um, because you don't want to cut the lace straight across. Um, so, you know, using the, um, the, well, it's like an eyebrow shaper basically. We're using a little razor you can uh, make the jacket edges just so it can look more natural because nobody has a straight across hairline i mean some people do you never know like it's a lot of different people in the world <laughs> but normally they don't and now that i've cut all um the other lace i'm going to cut the tabs i usually use scissors um to do that but I'm just cutting around the ear just to shape it to my head and be careful when you cutting these tabs by the ear because I nicked myself a couple times <laughs> trying to cut that lace around my ear so just be careful um and go slow like it's nothing wrong with taking your time when you're doing certain things you know what I mean so, yeah, I'm going to do the same thing to the other side, too. Now, I'm just taking my Got To Be Spray and just going back through, hitting those spots that, um, that the glue might not have picked up on just to, you know, get that thing double secure because I don't want nothing flying up when I'm trying to blow in the wind, okay? So now that that thing is on and secure, I'm going to take um, one of the little tissue wrap things or whatever, put it around the lace just to make sure um, that it's secure and let it dry a little bit. So it has dried and I'm cutting it off because I'm going to get ready to um, brush my baby hairs out. Or whatever I didn't do too many um I wanted it to look a little natural so um I didn't do it too dramatic I guess you can say <laughs> but yeah So I was a little bougie that day, so I ended up using um, mousse to um, to brush my baby hairs because I wanted a less dramatic baby hair that day or whatever. Um, I usually use the Got to Be Gel because like they be stuck, like the things don't go nowhere. <laughs> but yeah, so now that I've done that, I'm putting my wrap on just to secure it let it dry a little bit let it get in place and now that it's dried i am just cutting that off and boom bam yes <laughs> now i'm taking my hot comb and i'm just pressing down um just putting the hair in the direction that i want because i do have a part um my cord was short so that's why i had to bend down like that bear with me <laughs> bear with me bear with me but yeah a little hot comb action i'm also plucking my part as well just a little bit okay all right all right as you can see it's coming along it's coming along look at that look at that okay all right all right little baby here with lace <laughs> so now i have um wet my hair and i'm putting some mousse on it 
to define my curls a little bit because I like um, the wet look a little better than when it's dry. And we are all done, you guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. So sorry again for being absent and I promise to do better. So just stay tuned with your girl. Stay safe.